credit, uh, you know, tonight, you know, everyone wants to ask about the hitting, but the mm -hmm. pitchers are out there competing as well. And uh, it seemed like they did a great job tonight. They did an extremely good job. They, uh, they mixed very well. Um, they didn't have overpowering stuff, but the way they used it was, uh, was it, it gave us trouble. Um, and it gave us trouble all night. It was hard to make an adjustment. Uh, they, were, they were locating. And, and when, when you locate, you're more likely to have success. Um, it's when they make mistakes that we have to uh, take advantage of that. I felt like tonight when they did make mistakes and we squared them up, we, we hit some balls right at guys. So um, it was just one of those nights where they pitched extremely well, they mixed extremely well. Um, and then they got some timely hitting on top of it, and, and it made it just hard for us to come back. But I like how we fought all the way to the end. Um, we're still playing good ball, and we were in that game uh, until there was, you know, there was a couple hits that hurt us. Um, but can't win them all, so we're still in a good spot. All right. I mean, you look at that seventh; it was four to one. You got a couple guys on with with one out, but just couldn't quite come up with the key hit there. Yeah, just one of those nights. Um, I feel like we've come up with a lot of key hits lately, and uh, to continue to expect that is is not it's not going to happen in this game. So um, we'll get some big hits tomorrow. Dory was talking; he thought his changeup really wasn't wasn't where he wanted it to be tonight. Did you see that as well? Yeah, he didn't have his best stuff. Um, velocity was down a little early. Um, everything was just up in general. Um, the the two consecutive two out hits. Uh, the first one was a changeup up in the zone, and then the second one was a fastball up in the zone. And and if you get the if you get the first changeup down, we we did the right thing. We got the guy way out in front, but because it's up, it gives him more of a chance to get it out there a little bit. Whereas if you get it down, he's way out in front. He rolls it over to the first baseman, and you and you get out of that inning. And then the next one, we have to respect the speed of Mejia there, and uh, we got to play in a little bit. So I, I don't know if we're going to catch that ball even for playing him back, but at the same time it. It's tough to defend, you know, and, and it didn't work out tonight. You got your first look at Tanner Anderson tonight after coming up uh, from Bristol. What were your initial impressions? I like him. Throws hard, good breaking ball, good tempo. Um, ball at the end of the bat found a hole. Um, and uh, But I think he's going to be a good addition for us. He, he, he looks like he throws strikes, and he looks like he throws really hard. And he looks like a competitor out there. So uh, my first impressions, I like him. Is he closing some games? Like he had a couple of saves for that team. Though. Yeah, I think he was a back end guy for them. Um, <clears throat> just the reports I got were his stuff and things like that. I wasn't really paying attention to the box scores a whole lot, just how he works, what he uses. Uh, Casey used to in center field, obviously, a couple, a couple of nice diving grabs here uh, mm -hmm. tonight. Are you pleased with the progress he's, you know, he's made in center this summer? Oh, yeah. Um, he he's just he's good. Once he once he adjusted to the difference between the wood bat and the metal bat, um, he started uh, getting better reads. And once he started getting better reads, he started making better plays. So yeah, I mean tonight those are those are huge. You know they uh, they keep the game in line. If either one of those get by him, it could turn into a multiple extra base hit. So yeah, pleased with him out there. Like him out there. Trust him.